I'm Julie Pace at the White House, where officials are mobilizing the government's response to the devastating earthquake in Haiti. Here to talk about this is Dennis McDonough, head of the National Security Staff. What's the latest you can tell us on the situation in Haiti, and do we have any totals yet for the deaths? Uh, we don't have any totals, but we're obviously uh, struck by uh, the devastation. We are getting uh, reads back from some of the aerial uh, surveillance we had done earlier today, uh, and it confirms what we feared, which is that it's uh, uh, quite devastating impact in Port-au-Prince. And so our embassy is working that very aggressively, and as you indicated, uh, USAID in the lead is really coordinating the government's response here. And um, I know that one of the president's priorities was actually just trying to track down the U.S. personnel from the embassy, other Americans who are working there. What's the status of those efforts right now? He just now? had a good conversation with Ambassador Merton. And uh, Ambassador Merton uh, reported that he feels like he's getting close to being able to account for all of his personnel. Uh, he obviously expressed a deep appreciation to Ambassador Merton for all that he's doing and uh, appreciation for his staff as well. Now, they've announced some evacuations. Non-essential personnel uh, will be returning. Uh, from Haiti. Uh, so that begins now and that will go on over the course of the next uh, several days, I'm sure. Uh, but we're still accounting and we're, and we're getting to the bottom of it. Is there sort of a balance right now where you want to send in first responders, but when you don't have sort of the full picture yet, you don't want to send in people or equipment that's unnecessary? No, it's not really a question of not sending in what's, uh, what's not necessary. It's a question really of being certain that, uh, for example, the airstrip can handle uh, all the stuff we want to send in there. So we're doing things like that, making sure that we have a full assessment of what's happening on the ground. Not so much because we think uh, not a lot is going to be needed, but rather we want to be able to be sure that the infrastructure in Haiti, which incidentally before this earthquake was not uh, overdeveloped, um, but that the infrastructure can, in fact, in this state, handle the kind of logistics effort that we're about to undertake. Thanks very much. Dennis McDonough, head of the National Security Staff, with the latest on the earthquake in Haiti and the government's response. I'm Julie Pace for the Associated Press at the White House.